It starts up without making a sound. That's because this 1982 station wagon doesn't have a gasoline engine. It's an electric car powered by nine batteries well and the creative minds of ten high school students. Uh, and it became like a, like a, maybe like a classroom type. So like everyone got together, you know, everyone, everyone, you know, had just had a great time building this car. The students are part of the electronics club at Mount St. Michael Academy in Wakefield. Under the direction of physics teacher Ralph Corvino and brother Scotty Hughes, the group bought the car for $100 and worked on it two days a week for four months. Once we got the uh, project started, that's when I, I really started seeing the results that, you know, they, they got a motor and everything. They actually fit it into the transmission. And um, that, really, that really got me pumped and I started actually doing work. The students didn't follow the blueprints of other electric cars. Instead, they created their own design plan using whatever equipment they had available, including bed frames, garden hose, even duct tape. The car can reach speeds of 40 miles an hour and last for two hours on a single charge. I'm very proud of this, and like, um, I think that this is very unique for high school students. School officials are proud, too, but more so of the fact that a group of students with different cultural backgrounds came together. This is the future of the world. The world of the 21st century is going to be a, a melting pot. And I think this is a big thing that the students learned at Mount St. Michael. The kids, well, they dig the car.